through, and so just getting back to it. It was like, yeah, yep, go ahead. Well, I mean, a lot of uh, big plays. I think he felt like he probably dropped more balls than he needed to, needed to get bigger, stronger. But, you know, it's he's a guy that does everything right. He's uh, You don't ever have to worry about Quentin being where he's supposed to be, working, doing the things he needs to do, which is a lot like a lot of our guys right now, the, how they do things. So very excited about that. Well, I mean, just his blink, I mean, he's very athletic. His length, and then really how he approaches things. And to be honest with you, he really liked TCU. You know, it's there's something to uh, guys that you don't want to be a frog over the long run. So I think whatever program, you like those guys that this is where they want to be. And so he's one of those guys that's been like that. Well, yeah, I think you know. It's, I think that was the one. You know, you got to get to where you can catch the catchable ball. You got to back people up. I mean, this league is built on that of backing people up, and so, you know. But it's um, in Max's case, you know, we've always had speed at TCU, and so we've always been able to do it. And I think with the combination of Tay Barber and D Davis and Spielman at those guys on the inside, and then you got a guy like Marcel Brooks, uh, Quincy Brown, some of the guys on the outside that we've added to to. Uh, Running with Quentin, I think that's the key is just we've added more players there. And they're older. I mean, we only had eight seniors. And so, you know, you lost two tight ends, you lost three defensive guys, and a couple guys were linemen. And so everybody else comes back on the football team. And so how do you grow up and get to a point where you can be? You know, you know I think in this league, I think the parity is so close. You've got to find a way to be able to, when you have the ball last, to go down and score and win because – when we've been able to win 11, 12, 13 ball games, we've had to win probably five games or somewhere between five and 10 points. So, Well, I think like all of them, you know, when you put people in responsibility, you know, you have to, learning how to, how to uh, game plan, how to, how to run, be in charge out. You got to be able to go out as a, when you become a coordinator different than an assistant coach, it's all about uh, practice planning, managing people, and doing all that. And so any guy that's come through our program, Justin Fuentes, the head coach of Virginia Tech, David Bailoff, guys that have gone out, uh, that's all part of the training. It's not just a, uh, it's just not the players. I think that's one of the things I've always prided myself in. It's about learning how to do all of it so you can stay a long time in the business. Uh, well, D. Winters wasn't a linebacker. Uh, but because he has, he, he he can run like a safety, like a wide receiver. Our linebackers, we want them to be able to vertical wide receivers, and D. Davis is one of those guys that can do that. Well, yeah, but I think you know, at the end of the year, I think he's probably playing as good or better than what Wallow was. You know, he has a very high. He's very smart. He has football sense, and he has want to. You know, after he finally, after his freshman year, it all caught on to him. And really, the last three quarters of the season, he really came on as a uh, as a player and, a, and as a leader. He'll be one. It was really a flip. You know, if we would have brought more guys, he would have been one of the guys I'd brought with me today uh, as one of our cap. He was one of the guys that would have came to. But I flipped between him and O'Shawn, and and uh, because both of them had done a great job, and then O'Shawn's also a year older, and so give him an opportunity to to experience all this. Plus, he. He looks good and even looks better in pads, so. Travius who? Uh, Trey is, uh, you know, it's you know, his first real year of playing full-time corner, and obviously he was an all-Big 12 player. I think uh, on the, the high side, what he can do better is he didn't have any interceptions, so he's got to do a lot better job of being uh, creative and aggressive from that standpoint but you know he was very good as far as keeping people from catching balls which he's a very explosive dude and he's and he's excited he, he loves playing the game and I anytime you're around a guy that's like that you know along with Noah Daniels and Caesar and really the other guys we had really at the end of the season we only had really one was young and one was older two two top, two corners and then a walk-on corner left, and we'll come in into the fall camp with seven. 
because all the guys that are coming back from injury like Noah Daniels and then a lot then also adding a couple freshmen so uh, it's a lot different room than we had uh, in the fall so 